Hey, this is Brian, and thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. Uh, I don't know about your car, but my car came with these run flat tires. Uh, I haven't really had too much experience with them, but a lot of companies are using them to save weight from the spare tire, saves maybe some of the expense. Um, there's a few reasons, even you know, roadside hazards, and is it safe to pull over on highway and change your tire? So my biggest question was, what happens when one goes flat? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a small nail in my tire, and then we're going to drive around and we're going to see how it reacts. So. So as you see, we have a small nail in the tire. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to pull the nail out and then we're going to go for a drive and see how the car handles. So they say with run flats, you can drive up to 50 miles at 50 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and uh, take a drive and see how the tire makes out. Um, so right now the tire is 100% flat. Um, it's so far, I mean, it, just normal driving, I'm still in a neighborhood, but I, I can't really tell that I have a flat tire yet. So I think once we get up to speed, we'll be able to, to really see that. All right, so now that we're driving, um, right now we're only we're going 40, and we're about to be going 50. Um, it rides actually fairly smooth. Um, it's not. It's actually not that bad. It's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, as far as the handling goes, it's really soft. You could definitely tell that something's up, um, but you can definitely still drive on it, which is really good. And you know that's the whole key of run flats is having to to not stop. So right now we're going 50, um, cruising on a highway, and uh, we'll just keep going and uh, in, in a couple miles we're gonna check it out and uh, you know see if there's any damage all right so we've been driving a little ways and I just wanted to check out the tire and again if you can see this this sucker is completely flat um, but what's really nice is these these extra sidewalls the extra reinforced sidewalls are really keeping the rim off the ground which is you know, which is really the key because you don't want to destroy your rim in the process of this. Um, from the side angle, you can't really, I was going to show a couple shots, I guess I'll show it. Um, it. You can't really tell too much about the tire bolting and how it's really sitting. Um, but other than that, everything seems to be holding up pretty well. And uh, let's keep driving and, and see what happens. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how well the car actually holds up. Um, just going straight, if you're just cruising on the highway, I, mean, I don't even know if you'd be able to tell that you had a flat. Um, and again, we you saw the size of that nail we put in here actually. Um, but that, here it is. Yeah, you saw the, the size of the nail we, we threw in there. So that sucker is completely flat. Um, and I think one of the things with this is, you know, if you get a flat on the highway, at least you're able to get off the highway and then find a local tire shop or a dealer or something like that. Um, so I definitely understand how the, how this is going to work. Um, again, I'm just I'm accelerating moderately, and by the feel of it, I, I wouldn't be able to know. Um, the only thing is when I go side to side and start to make some turns, you can definitely tell that something is up. So let's go ahead and we'll pull off here in a in a minute or so, and then we'll uh, we'll check out the tire and see what's up with it. All right, so here we are, we're at another checkpoint, just checking out the tire, and you can see we still have that nice um, rubber bulge down here, but um, other than that, nothing terrible has happened, which is awesome. Um, even I'm looking at the rubber in here, which is, it's riding on just ever so slightly, and it's not even really getting all that worn. Um, so let me show you some close-ups, and then we'll, uh, we'll get back on the road. So right now we're going down a small back road, um, speed limit's less, so just trying to see how, it, how the car handles at, at different speeds. Um, at the lower speeds it still, it still feels fine, it, it, I don't feel like it pulls as much, um, you know, obviously because there's not as much there's not as much torque going through the wheels and everything. Um, even over some mild bumps, nothing has you know, been too terrible. I'm not going to go the entire 50 miles, uh, but I am going about 25 miles. Here we are, stop one more time. Um, 
the tire is definitely still holding up strong. Um, the car is starting to pull a lot more at low and high speeds to the right. Uh, run flat tires, they do what they say, which is really nice to know. Um, especially, as I said before, I, I'm not used to the run flats. I haven't had it before. This is my first car with them. The car is really starting to pull to the right now. So I think as maybe the tire starts to wear down a little bit more, we start to see more of a problem. Um, but when you first get that flat, if you can get off the road and, and just really try to head to a, a tire shop as soon as you can, I think that would be your, your best bet. So anyway, this is Brian. Thanks again for watching and uh, go get some run flats.